Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. So today we're going to talk about business models for tech startups. And the cool thing is that we're going to discuss eight of those models. And these models represent all of the possible ways in which software and service startups can make money. So let's begin. The first model we're going to discuss is a SaaS a subscription model. Of course, SaaS stands for software as a service. And it's a model where each customer will use a piece, a periodic subscription or a licensing fee. It's a very common model because it's, um, it has a recurring revenue stream component, which increases predictability of cash flows. And so everybody likes it. We have many examples in the mar marketplace of um, these businesses. I just put two logos here. They are Wall Street Journal and Match.com. But... Um, there's just a lot, a lot of um, different um, businesses that have this model. Okay, the next model is advertising, right? It's also a very common model and it can manifest in several ways. One of them is a pay-per-click, pay-per-view, pay-per-action. Of course, we've got Google and Forbes as the representative of these models, or you can also have affiliate or native advertising. For example, a website bankrate.com, um, which has different information about credit cards or banks and savings accounts will be an example of an affiliate advertising model where those providers pay this website to essentially be business development arm. Also, if you have a direct contracts with advertisers, for example, Disney will um, make a contract, let's say, with McDonald's and advertise on their website and integrate, you know, into their movie, like it will be McDonald's toys that comes up, uh, comes out with one of the characters, that will be an example of native advertising and McDonald's can pay them uh, you know, for an opportunity to be on their website. And then uh, also, uh, they will be able to get, uh, of course, revenue from um, merchandising from from that property the third model is a software product right and this is a little bit of an outdated model but that has been a very common model before the one example that still exists now is the microsoft office you buy a license per computer and the way that it usually works is that there is a one-time licensing fee and sometimes there is a maintenance component and if there is a periodic maintenance then in a way this periodic maintenance resembles a subscription model Okay, so sometimes the software product model has a component of a subscription model as well. And then we have a very common model, which is a marketplace where um, basically you make money on the percentage of the transactions well. You don't actually own anything, right? And what you do is you put buyers and sellers together. And uh, depending on the marketplace, you can charge either a buyer or a seller or both. Again, there are a lot of um, examples in the marketplace. There is Eventbrite, there's Delivery.com, of course, there is Amazon, and there's just like a lot of a lot of different uh, companies that use use this model. Okay, let's talk about four more models. Data, data is the king these days, right? And that's I should be a part of the strategy of any company. How can you monetize data? Right, you can do it per user, per report, or per API. We have two companies here which sell data, Experian and Nielsen, uh, but of course there are many others, right? Uh, and we um, are aware of this every day. Okay, so pay per use. This is when you use content for a given um, period of time, or let's say you use uh, a product. Right, so rent the runway represents uh, a pay-per-use model, or iTunes, where you can uh, rent something, rent the content on demand, or Amazon Video. Right, so anytime you do that, this is the model that you use. Of course, there are services, uh, all kinds of services. Up with McKinsey and Company here, there's all kinds of service providers. The Startup Station is also utilizing this model, and in this model, you can get paid per service per project or on a retainer. And finally, the last model is kind of interesting, okay? Because it's not a model by itself, right? It's a um, modification, which can be applied to any of the seven models prior. A very common application of the freemium model is for mobile apps. Usually the apps are free 
and then they monetize themselves by offering in-app purchases. However, a freemium model can also be applied to a subscription model in the form of a fair trial. It can be applied to a data model in the form of a certain reports being free or certain APIs being available for free or certain number of users um, using the data for free. It can be applied to a services model uh, in the form of a certain discovery call that is free, right? It could be applied to an advertising model when you get a credit to try a service, right? It could be applied to um, a marketplace model where for, you know, potentially up to this amount of transactions, you're not going to pay a fee or something like that, or you're going to get a credit to uh, buy something in this marketplace. This is used as a marketing tool to allow users to try a product and to uh, get themselves familiar with the company. However, in the case of uh, uh, mobile apps, in the purchases is the main way to monetize. And here we have two great examples, which are Candy Crush and Pokemon. And this is the only way to monetize and they are very, very successful in doing it. So to conclude, these are the eight business models and um, they represent all of the possible ways, like I've said before, in which software service companies can monetize themselves. And if you understand how to model all of them, you understand how to model your startup because any startup can be reduced to one or more of these models. And here you go. Please like the video below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and sign up to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn how to model your venture in a credible way, please sign up for our masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you, and I will see you next week.